My name is Alex Glasson, and I'm the president of the Senior Class Council here at Northern. I, like many of you, am planning on attending prom in a few weeks. The members of the senior class should understand that prom is a time for celebration and fun, but it should also be taken seriously. Many people don't understand the seriousness of a car crash. What you're about to see is a mock accident. It is an accurate depiction of the process and time frame of a real car wreck. This demonstration is designed to show the consequences of drinking and driving. The choices that you make affect not only yourself, but affect the lives of many others, including family, friends, as well as the entire community. We hope this presentation will help you make intelligent decisions during prom, graduation, and the rest of your life. The situation you're about to observe will unfold as it actually would in real life and death situations. It's typical for students to feel that the rescue process takes a long time, but please remember, we're going through an, an actual accident, just as it would happen in real life. You're going to share with the victims exactly what they experience during and after the accident. In the last few years, there have been a number of Oakland County students involved in traffic accidents, resulting in lifelong injuries and, in some cases, death. Some of these accidents were not the result of any willful wrongdoing on the part of the driver. They made a simple mistake, but the result was tragic. I realize that statistics are usually boring, but it is a fact that when young adults, people your age, are involved in a fatal crash, the passengers are killed more often than the driver. For every eight drivers, 17 years of age that are killed, 12 passengers die. The figures are even worse for 18-year-olds. For every eight drivers that die, 18 passengers are killed. The leading cause of death in young people within your age group is motor vehicle accidents. And 50% of all traffic accidents are alcohol related. On impact, Jenny was thrown through the front windshield. Her body, moving at 65 miles per hour, was thrown onto the hood. The significant impact causes massive head and brain injuries large tears in the lungs and the liver, as well as bruising on other internal organs. From these injuries, Jenny loses massive amounts of blood. As a result of the trauma, she is comatose or non-responsive, and there's nothing that the paramedics can do to save her. Jenny does not have a pulse or blood pressure, and she is pronounced dead on the scene. Thank you.